We are here in Old Stone Schoolhouse. Um, it's our fall fireside chat. School has begun. Uh, leaves are still on the tree. Yesterday was in the 90s. So, so it okay? is not, uh, it doesn't really feel like fall yet, but we are doing our fall segment of fireside chat from the Old Stone Schoolhouse. Um, with regards to what's going on in Concord Township, because school has started, our service department installed uh, a path from Summerwood Subdivision to Parkside uh, Elementary School. That Carl, you had a lot to do with that, so why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, right. Um, well, with Parkside Elementary School opening up on Route 608, um, we were in conversations with the school and some of the community as to how to safely um, get kids that were outside of the bus busing area to and from the school. Um, you know, 608, uh, everybody knows is there's is some curves and some um, some hills there and it's, it's, it can be a safety issue as far as kids walking to and from the school. There wasn't room for a sidewalk there. So Concord Township uh, in conjunction with the uh, Summerwood Housing, our homeowners association as well as the school, um, worked together on um, um, putting in a path from the rear of the elementary school to um, one of the cul-de-sacs in the development. Service department did an outstanding job um, with the construction. We met with residents to sort of um, understand um, their concerns about the path. We sort of wound it around through the wood line there to try to um, um, be um, cognizant of the, of the residents' um, concerns as well as make it um, a good appearance to and from the school. So uh, it, the construction on that is done. It, it turned out really well. Frank and his crew at the service department did an outstanding job. The school is happy with it. And we know that the residents of Summerwood, um, some of them have used it with their children and are, are very um, receptive to the way it turned out. So yeah, it's, we it's really a good yeah, we really minimized the, the trees that we cut down. I think that we just had one. Besides that, everything else was brush. Uh, it was a small little diameter tree. Uh, we've replaced uh, or placed um, several um, fern trees there so that uh, it adds the buffer to some of the residents that had some concerns. Right. Um, so hopefully that buffers uh, the noise, it buffers some of the lighting out there and uh, we'll continue to work on that. My, my assumption is, is that when the, the leaves come down and the brush kind of move away, it's gonna expose a little bit greater and then we'll have a better idea of what else we need to go ahead and replace there. Right. But, it, but it seemed to be, a, so far, a very good project and very nice right. and um, <clears throat> very well traveled. Right. The lighting was a concern of some of the neighbors, but I think that has also been resolved. Yeah. Additionally, um, our, our service department this year, and, and they do a tremendous job in really, you know, really road construction, rebuilding the roads, and we have some private, pro or, I guess subcontracting projects out there as well, but what we did is we, we continue to add these bioretentions. And these bioretentions are going in the cul-de-sac. Um, again, I apologize to residents initially as, as, as they're, they're not as pretty as they're gonna turn out to be in the end. Um, as you know, the older ones that have been put in, uh, the individuals that complained, um, we certainly went out, out there and addressed those issues, but as as they grew, as, as the bioretentions uh, filled in, they filled in nicely, and, and each of those residents that ever had a complaint, you know, came back and said, yes, we understand what has happened here, and they worked out well. And what they really do is they do suck in a lot of that water from, from the runoff when we have these the snow melts. Right. And, um, and, and they're, just, they're tremendous for, for our area. It saves uh, Concord Township a bunch of money because we don't have to go ahead and, and and you know, pave those those intersections. Uh, it saves the roads that that are still there because it's got a nice place for for water runoff. You don't have that freeze thaw. Right. Um, I had some uh, calls from some residents on the bioretention um, islands, and you know, once I went out there and sort of explained the, the process about the natural runoff and the, and the purification, and, and you know, it takes some time for the, for those plants to develop and grow and how they're going to look. I, I think it's going to be well received by residents in Concord Township was a uh, uh, we got support from uh, Lake County um, uh, stormwater um, agency for those projects also right. yeah. and so yes so we're able to use our stormwater money and, and again you know, each each of us uh, as residents pay into the stormwater department so it's very important for 
you know, as, as, as we're stewards of Concord Township's residents' dollars and cents, make sure that we get our projects back. And so, um, you know, every year, twice a year, we meet with Stormwater, making sure that uh, we're auditing what they're using their dollars and cents for and making sure those projects come back to Concord Township. Um, additionally, in the zoning department, uh, uh, TIE 99 uh, recently moved to a bigger location. So they moved from their former location in uh, Concord Plaza to a new location uh, because they wanted to expand. And right. um, I don't know if Carl, you Yeah, I, I, I'll tell you what, I've talked to the owners there. I frequent that. Uh, it was a carry out, so it was rather small up front by uh, um, the, um, the old Biagios over there. Um, but they didn't have much of a dining room, so they moved over to the uh, sushi place that closed down. And I was just there last night in the dining room. It's very nice. The owners are great. Uh, the food is excellent. So if anybody has not been there, Thai 999, a little plug for you. They great food, and uh, they do it. They do great business over there. So you we're know, happy to have them in Concord Township. It's a reminder, is you know, this will be playing you know throughout or as we get closer to the holidays. Um, mm -hmm. Keep in mind that you know the the shop local. Um, hit our local businesses, not over in Concord Plaza, but 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 up here in the Grist Mill area, as well as um, all the new businesses above there, from Drug Mart on down to um, you know Starbucks that are all new. So right. you know hit those places because uh, you know you got to shop local to, to, to maintain those businesses right. here. Spend your money when where you earn it. That's correct. That's right. Um, additionally, we still continue to work on, on filling the riders project as, as we've told residents before uh, that plaza has been taken over by um, the bank and the bank is now involved with uh, leasing options and negotiations. Uh, they continue to, to update us and let us know that they are still moving forward and again it's our intent to have that filled as soon as possible so we will continue to work on that. Uh, although the Concord Township really doesn't have a role in it, uh, we are advocates behind the scene to make sure that uh, that place gets filled as soon as possible because we certainly need it. Right, we definitely get a lot of calls from residents about a grocery there and we are definitely advocating on your behalf. We know that that is a huge concern and we're working diligently to make sure that uh, takes place and we get it back in there. Right. Uh, with regards to the cemetery, no one really likes talking too much about cemeteries, but uh, it, it, is, it is important on December 14th at noon, we will have uh, the Reefs Across America uh, ceremony. We did it last year, it was an excellent ceremony. Um, it doesn't take long, it's probably from, from noon to 12.30, uh, but, I, but I do invite anybody uh, that, that has that time to come out there on December 14th, bring your kids, it's an excellent opportunity to kind of um, you know, pay your respects and, and it really does kind of, uh, it's nice between Thanksgiving and Christmas, it's a nice event and, and we do ask that you join us. Uh, additionally, we're trying to expand the cemetery and um, we do have a house that will be torn down. Uh, we should be able to get some grant money for that and, and that will allow us to expand the cemetery. We have applied and received the grant. Well, that's good news. Good, good. good. County, why don't you tell us what else going on the recreation department? Oh my goodness, lots of things. There's a whole <laughs> list of fall classes. I mean, it's just amazing. Well, Deborah does an outstanding job, you know, flooding Concord Township with all kinds of options for our residents. We are very proud to have such a Everything. slew of uh, opportunities for our residents. Everything from exercise classes and martial arts to photography and budgeting and getting started with Medicare and mixed media painting. And then uh, they also have a Tuesday library series at the community center where um, you can learn about new books and talk about your favorites. It's kind of a, a group that's interested in, in reading books. And then you want to, me to tell about the 55 plus group, I presume. Sure, go ahead and mention it. The senior social. But you should presume, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm the only one over here that's over 55. Every first and third Wednesday at 1 o'clock at the community center, they uh, meet and they have bingo and they have a Friendsgiving party on November 20th and a holiday luncheon on December 18th. And if you need any more information, call Deb at the Community Center. I want to remind everybody that on November 5th is Election Day, so remember to vote.
So special events for this fall, we have the uh, Candidates Forum coming up October 16th at 3.30. That's at Auburn Career Center. Um, I believe in the past it was at the Community Center, but this year it will be at the Auburn Career Center. Because there's more room. Because there's more room <laughs> and maybe more candidates with a lot, mm -hmm. to, yes. a, lot of, a lot to say. We will have the Halloween Haunt October 24th at 6.30 at Gristmill. That is still going forward at, uh, at the Gristmill location, so anybody that wants to Trick or treat or any of our youngsters in the community, please come out and enjoy the festivities. Um, and then we have some other stuff during the holiday. First of all, the holiday, holiday haunt, uh, Halloween haunt is an excellent event. So there's a lot of kids out there. Everybody be safe, be careful. Um, but there's a lot of kids there and it's a great event. December 6th, which is, happens to be St. Nick's Day, um, we'll start a couple things. A, we get to start. Um, lining up uh, the houses for the Light Up Concord contest. So decorate your, your house for a Light Up Concord. I believe we're voting somewhere between December 11th and December 18th. Mm -hmm. Also, December 6th, we will um, start that evening off at 7 p.m. with light, the tree lighting inside the gazebo. And that is our second annual um, event. Great. It's a great event. We've had plenty of people there last time. It's a, just a nice evening. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you leave there, uh, you're welcome to go ahead and visit all the shops at Grist Mill and, and down uh, Cryle because um, a lot of us residents go there uh, afterwards. So please enjoy. So Carl, I don't, I'm not sure you know this, but, but there was a movie shot at a famous trustee's residence just recently. I did, I did hear that, I did hear that. Next Con door to my residence. <laughs> At, at Concord Air Park. <laughs> it's, your, it's your side yard, right? right. That's, that's your that's, residence. Actually, that's, it's my front yard. It's your front yard? <laughs> it's your front yard. So, Connie, would you explain to, the, to, to Concord okay. out there what was going on? At your... Well, Liam Neeson was there. Unfortunately, I didn't get to meet him. But the um, movie is called uh, The Minute Man. And he is starring in it. And they filmed some scenes there. Uh, showing him uh, teaching a boy to shoot a rifle, which I thought was interesting because he's anti-gun. <laughs> <laughs> which is true. It is true. And at the air park, right? right at your at air, the park. air park. Right. Okay, and, wow, that's, and there that's were, awesome. There were about 80 people there, and they fed them lunch in my hangar. Wow. They had a buffet, and it was very gourmet because they invited me to lunch. That yeah, is so that great. Yeah. So you didn't, see him at, you didn't get to see him at lunch? I didn't, no, he did not eat lunch there. Oh, he went, okay. They, they took him okay. elsewhere for Are you going to put a plaque there now? No. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> well, but I'm anxious to see the movie. It'll come out next year, and it's called The Minute Man. Okay, wow, that sounds awesome. Congratulations. Nice. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> You're a star in our book. Oh, thanks. <laughs> if, 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 if that part doesn't get cut, my, my hanger will be famous. Not me, but my hanger. It the, will be, and that is, uh, that's an old painting on... Uh, yes, the, they, they did uh, want the hanger doors shut, and they shot... Because that was part of what they wanted, eagle. right? In that, yes. that, 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 right. That's they make any other changes to your to your property? No. Any additions? Am I or did no, no, they? No, no, no. Did they? No, for they the movie. No, no. They left it the way it was. They even um, took photo or uh, videos of the uh, farm equipment on at the side of the hangar that That's you can't see from the road. That, but the the back uh, side of the hangar is full of farm equipment and they wow. wanted it left there. So I don't know. Do you get a credit in the movie? I have no idea. Well, I congratulations. Yeah, that's, that's great. great. Congratulations. That's great. I great for you, great for Concord. Yeah. Yes, yes. Thank you. Anything else, Carl? No. Uh, Connie, I how wish about everybody you? happy holidays and be safe and enjoy. Right. Okay, thank, thank you. you.